Johnny Hong. Trying something short and different today, guys. Here are five random retro gaming accessories that I suggest any retro gaming enthusiast pick up. Number one, an AV switcher. This will allow you to switch between multiple consoles. So what you do is you have one set of cables that comes out to the TV buttons to select different consoles that are also plugged into the box. So, you know, you can switch from NES to PS2 to Super Nintendo to Dreamcast and it's very convenient. You can have everything all plugged in at once. Number two is a game bit. These are used to open all sorts of retro game consoles and they come in different shapes and sizes. This one is actually for Game Boy cartridges and the camera's having a really hard time focusing, but you can see there at the end, it's specifically made to open up Game Boy cartridges so that you can get into them and change the batteries. Speaking of batteries and saves, my number three recommendation is a mega memory card or a similar device. Mine's in a uh, kind of rough shape, but it still works. And what this does is allows you to insert any Game Boy game with a battery backup save and back it up to flash. So that way, if your battery dies, you can just load it back up once you've replaced the battery in your cartridge. Number four, this is a reproduction controller for the Sega Genesis. It is a six button reproduction controller by Retrobit. You can get these on Amazon, they're super cheap, and they're some of the best feeling controllers that I've ever had for a Sega Genesis. And finally, this is a little bit more of an expensive option, but I suggest anybody who's really into the Dreamcast, you're probably gonna be really into the fighting games on it, like Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, that kind of stuff. And this thing is great for that. It's an arcade stick specifically for the Dreamcast. It has a really good feeling stick. The buttons all click and mine's pretty old and still works really well.